sweetgeorgiapam.com. I said in a past episode, that's your hub for everything Sweet Georgia Pam. I like that because that's the truth. Your hub. Yeah. She has so much there. Your newsletter you can sign up for. Um, you can get pr private sessions with Pam. And also she's got a free guide called Six Nights to Better Dream Recall. Um, and she's on social media. Sweet Georgia Pam, you can DM her anytime. Pam, my love, how are you? Yay, I'm doing all right today. How are you? I'm good. If you're watching on YouTube, um, we have our headphones on today and uh, normally we don't. And so thus my background, I did not, um, I did not do the, what do you call it? The blur, the blur. Mm -hmm. because it would make me look like a floating head. Anyway, if you do a background, you know that sometimes your face disappears, but anyway, and I like just, a dream image the whole time. I'm just looking know. at, you know, looking at all the, or, you know, all these files that I need to go through and all the stuff in my background. I don't have the, Pam, beautiful display of coordinated colors and paintings and stuff. And stuff. well, you can't see what's like outside of the view of the corner <laughs> of my room that I have sanctioned off to look this way. So, uh, yeah, the, hoard the hoarding piles over yes. here. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, well, as we, so today, so the the release date of this you know episode whether you're listening to it on the release date or not is Valentine's day. And I thought I'm, I'm somebody who loves a theme. So since it is Valentine's day, um, I thought we would talk about the surprise sex partners in your dreams, right? Because Valentine's day is all about romantic love. And you think, Oh, it'd be great if, you know, Prince or you know, Prince charming or princess peach in my son's case, you know, was in your dream and you were intimate yeah. and you're romantic, but that's not usually how dreams work. Um, mm -hmm. and, your sex partner in your dream is somebody that if you know them, it's not somebody you would be having sex with in the waking world. The only thing I was trying to think of a dream that surprised me. I mean, there's been plenty of surprise sex partners, some good, some bad, but the funniest was when I was, I think I was a teenager when I dreamt this um, or I was in college and, and I'm a lesbian. So I am a gold star lesbian. So I've been dating women from the start. Right. But I dreamt I'd slept with James Bond. So I, <laughs> and there were no. yes, and and he was like, he was like, you know, my name is Bond, James Bond. Like it was like the beginning of it. In character, <laughs> he was in character. It wasn't the actor. I I think Roger Moore was probably still James Bond at the time. So, but I oh, I just Lord. remember the character and him saying that, and it was at the beginning of the action. And then I woke up like, <laughs> what the hell was that? Not only was it not a girl, but it was, you know, it was a fictional so surprise, surprise, surprise. So I'm sure everybody's had these. Dreams. So how, yeah. how do you interpret yeah. when you have sex with somebody in your dream that you would never imagine having sex with? In yes. Your and, life? and I would imagine that listeners are like filling in their own stories right now and like like oh my god yes like the like remember like that one dream I had that was right because yeah. they're memorable I'll give them that much sex dreams they're so are so like shocking the remember yeah um okay so symbolically sex in a dream is intimacy in so in waking life when you have intimacy in any of its forms it can result in sex in a dream. So um, if, for example, you are, I, I, I don't know, I always go to like the work environment. It's my standard like example dream, but I'm going to change it up. Let's say you ride a bus to work every day or you ride a bus to, you know, or, around town mm -hmm. and you know the bus driver and they're friendly and suddenly you have a sex dream about the bus driver, right? <laughs> What that would mean is that recently some um, encounter that you've had has been vulnerable or intimate in like a friendship bonding kind of way. So mm -hmm. any kind of intimacy that is not physical can result in a physical intimacy dream. I'm trying to think with uh, Bond. And again, I assume it was Roger Moore. Yeah. You know, maybe it's a case where I felt, I don't know. I don't know. Like, could you well, do that I with mean, a fictional character be, where yeah, it could sure, be like, for sure. I had a, 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 a reaction like, oh yeah, he is my favorite bond or like, I really enjoy this series or something like that. Yes. Or you could have had an intimate encounter, you know, in your waking life recently when that dream happened, 
that made you feel like James Bond, that made yeah. you connect those two together, the character of James Bond with this new level of intimacy that opened up in your waking life somewhere that wasn't necessarily physical, but gave you a physical reaction because intimacy ignites our body signals. Mm -hmm. intimacy well, when it's form. a good when it's a good dream, right? When it's a sex dream that you enjoyed that you with yeah. someone you never thought about. Yeah. You know, yep. sometimes that yep. link, at least for me, like I let that linger throughout the morning. Right. So for after sure. I wake up, again, like, you know why they're memorable? Cause you hang yes. on to them on purpose. I'll just, indulge, like, I'll indulge in this for just for yeah. a second. Yeah. And then when I see and them again, then I'll be embarrassed. Not to mention the other piece of intimacy, which is that your, your body, the normal functioning of your body and your hormone levels changing and going through various sensations during the day, those sensations don't stop when you go to sleep. So a sex dream could be those sensations lining up to promote a sex dream with an intimate encounter or a new level of a relationship that's not necessarily physical in waking life. And those two can combine as well. Well, Does you talk, sense? yes, it makes sense. And you talk a lot about when you wake up and not letting the logical mind come in and explain it, right? So that's the other thing is when you wake up, it's, you know, understanding that you're not sexually desiring that person right yeah. it's like you yeah. said is that intimacy does not necessarily mean sexual but it turns into right. that or manifests into that in the dream do right. i get that right and, yes and it's doubly difficult with a sex dream because if it is somebody that you know and, you know, dreams don't have a filter that our normal waking mind uses to be like polite and, you know, societally appropriate. So dreams can throw in any character into a sex dream. So if it's somebody that you know, it can be really tricky to not then encounter that person later in the day and blush or like only have those memories come to your mind because dreams are experiential in nature. So this is why it would be really good for all of our listeners to practice not letting their logical mind come on board and immediately try to explain. Like if you can start to practice waking up from a dream and just making space to just be curious about the dream without going, oh, it means this, it must mean this, you know, without like locking down mm -hmm. on your, with your rigid thinking or your logical mind thinking. Right. If you can practice holding open space of curiosity, then when you do encounter a sex dream with your boss where you don't want to go to work the next day <laughs> right? and see said boss and try to act normal, just hold some space of open curiosity and, you know, allow yourself to come up with other metaphorical meanings that aren't the logical, literal, oh, I must have an attraction I didn't know about mm -hmm. that I now have to decide what to do with doesn't right. not that literal so if you can you know listen to this podcast and pay attention to your dreams enough that 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 this becomes a regular way of thinking creatively then you can insert that instead of the literal mind well, i'm sure that oh well, i'm sure that is a relief to a lot of people because i mean there's cases where i'm sure uh and you know when i was first hitting puberty and didn't know a lot of people that sometimes those dreams would manifest into to people I knew like family members and weird yes. shit like that. Yes. And yes, you know, and you'll wake up and you'll be like, I'm a, you know, I'm a freak. I'm a weirdo. I'm a, you know, and so it's like, no, no, no. Again, like you said, it's about intimacy yes. in the, you know, in the literal meaning of intimate, you know, you're, there's a special relationship there, an, an emotional relationship, not a right. physical one. And right. so I, th <laughs> so I'm sure there's a lot of dreams that people have never confessed to because it weirded them out so much. Absolutely. And now, and now they have permission not to feel weirded out. Oh my God. I hope that that is true. I hope that any level of relief is settling over somebody right now <laughs> mm -hmm. listening to this because it's, uh, this is why I love dreams so much because once I realized like, oh, it's not saying that, oh, it's just holding some symbolic representation of a emotion I went through yesterday oh well that's actually cool and helpful 
And it does the opposite. I'm not anxious or embarrassed to go encounter that person. I'm curious now. Yeah, right. You know? That, so yeah, that they affect me. Yeah, that they, you know, a person may affect me that way on a emotional level, not a physical level. Yes. Now, let me, one last thing before we go, there, there may be people who want to have sex dreams about certain people. So my mind just went right to the same place. I'm like, but also, yes. Yeah, so is, so you know, for, for people who would be like, okay, I have a coworker or I have somebody that I'm not intimate with in a sexual level. Mm -hmm. And I would like to be, and I would like to at least experience a, a dream with them just to have something with them. Is there anything people can do to control their dreams? Oh, you're going to get me into some trouble. Um, well, this is the thing. I think, I think because we can't control our dreams, it makes them more trustworthy. So it's, it's almost like your dreams are a better friend to you than you are. Mm -hmm. So what, That's a great what, way to put I would, what I would want to do in that scenario, if I have a hardcore crush on somebody and I'm like, okay. Why can't I control my dreams and set up this scenario? I would, mm, I would approach it a different way. I would ask my dreams to show me um, a path to get closer to that person. I would eliminate the sex piece altogether. And I would just say like, what's the bonding? What is like the next place that we can bond a little bit further, become a little bit closer? Because if sex dreams are symbolic of new levels of intimacy, then that's what I would go for. And waking life is like, where else do we sync up em emotionally? I know that's not the answer. It's a buzzkill. <laughs> Fine buzzkill, Pam. All right. So if you want, <laughs> if you would like to I'm not falling for your traps, learn more about Pam, go to sweetgeorgiapam.com. She does one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if there is a dream you have recurring, disturbing, wonderful, like anything you want to unpack with Pam, she's happy to help you see what your dream might be telling you. Um, if you're somebody that has a hard time remembering your dreams, go to sweetgeorgiapam.com. She has a free guide called Six Nights to Better Dream Recall to help you out. She's here to help you. And you can always DM her on social media, Sweet Georgia Pam. Pam, my love, thank you so much. Um, you're very welcome. I hope everybody has the sweetest dreams possible. And I Thank love you. your heart earrings. I know Thank you. Thank you. That you was that today. Watching, happy, I just want to give you a little shout out. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. If you're watching on YouTube, happy Valentine's Day. Super cute.